What is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lions Den located in Colmar, PA. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about hamstring specific exercise that's gonna help you dominate as a strongman. So hopefully you just watched the quad video and if you haven't, click the link right here and check out the quad exercises. And now we're gonna hit the other side of the leg, the hamstrings. Let's get right to it. Let's go. First exercise, this one is very common, but we add a little bit of a twist here, okay? And that's gonna be a toes up RDL. So typically when people do RDLs, they have a hard time figuring out where to go, you know, do you go too deep? Do you not go as deep? Do you gotta sit your hips back? You know, do we wanna keep the bend in the knee, no bend in the knee? Where should we be feeling this exercise? Uh, all great questions. And it's gonna come down to your uh, body, okay? So it's gonna be a little bit different per individual. Uh, but something that really I find helps uh, activate those hamstrings really, really well and just get that burn is when we put our feet up or our toes up specifically. And then we're just bending over and getting a really good stretch in the hamstring. So that's a variation that we do here. And it's an awesome accessory exercise for you guys to throw in uh, with your training. So if you're looking to hit those hamstrings, uh, just you can easily do this with dumbbells or you can grab a barbell, whatever. Uh, grab some sort of plate, could be 25, 45, whatever degree you find really helps get you a good stretch. Uh, and when you lean over, you're, you're just burning those hammies. Uh, so throw that in your training and see what you think. All right, exercise number two. And I'll be honest, guys, this is something that I should be doing more of. I did these uh, the first several years of training, I got away from them, uh, but actually making this video had sparked my interest in getting back into doing them. And that's gonna be glute ham raises. All right, another awesome exercise that we had done with the legend uh, John Meadows, and he actually went over how we should be doing these. So I highly recommend you check out that video. So link above where he's diving deep into uh, how we should technically break down the movement to get as best uh, of a hamstring, you know, activation or my muscle connection as possible. So check that video out. But when it comes to doing strongman, we absolutely need really strong hamstrings. And we'll talk more about them with the other variations, uh, but these first two that I've gone over so far are just awesome accessory exercises that are gonna help grow and strengthen those hamstrings and, and transfer over uh, to when we're competing in strongman. All right, number three. Now this one is super specific to strongman. I'm actually gonna tell you a quick story. So when I first got into strongman training, I went to Brian Alzer's gym, Never Safe. And I had remember this because it'll I, like I always remember this story. And uh, we had three kegs lined up. Okay, it was probably like uh, 200, 250, 300 pound keg, and it was about 20 to 25 feet in distance. And Brian had told me uh, we're going to do this super simple kind of little uh, medley here. We're going to take one keg, run it down, come back, get the next keg down and back, last keg down and back. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, easy, no big deal. I got this. Now, when I ran the first one down and back, I did it pretty good. Now the second one, what I noticed is, as I was coming back with the keg, all of a sudden it felt like someone had taken a baseball bat and started whacking me in the hamstrings. And I was no longer able to function. My legs couldn't even move, and it felt like I was slowly going into quicksand. When I got the last keg, if you remember, and you go all the way back and watch this video, I was struggling for dear life to finish this event because of how bad my hamstrings were on fire. So the moral of the story, guys, is that one, hamstrings are super important when it comes to strongman, especially when it comes to medley style training. Uh, but then two, that carrying heavy objects is an awesome way to train specifically for strongman, okay? What I mean by that is sandbag carry, keg carry, stone carries, whatever, uh, that's gonna be something that's almost front loaded and that you're walking with uh, because it's gonna torch those hamstrings like crazy, and it's not something you want to neglect because it's gonna be super specific when we get into strongman, and it's really gonna help build that endurance in the legs and specifically the hamstrings for you to uh, successfully complete that event. All right guys, exercise number four on my list, which is probably the king of the hamstring growth in my opinion when it comes to uh, strength training, barbell training, strongman, is gonna be stiff leg deadlifts. I mean, I can't think of a better exercise uh, when it comes to just putting on mass and size and strength uh, to the hammies and just helping you get better as a strongman athlete, right? Because when we're doing strongman, one, the hamstring's super important, two, the deadlift reigns king when it comes to strongman. You will never see a strongman competition that doesn't have some sort of deadlift in there. Uh, and often, 
when we pick things up, we enter that sift like deadlift position as well. So whether we're picking up a stone, we're picking up a keg or whatever, you'll see a lot of movement patterns that is getting people to mimic that stiff leg deadlift. So if you can strengthen your stiff leg deadlift and those hamstrings, it's only gonna help you picking up objects uh, and putting them down. You know, as cliche as it sounds, uh, that's why the stiff leg deadlift in my book is one of the most important and foundational exercises for hamstring development and strongman in general. All right guys, so the last one, and this one kind of coming out of left field for me, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. And you're probably saying, what is he gonna say? Well, I'm gonna tell you, kettlebell swings. What? What did this man just say? He made a video about why he doesn't do kettlebell swings, and that's true, and you should go watch that video. But for the sake of this video, I have a different take on it because Coach Joe likes a little bit of everything. And uh, why would I use kettlebell swings for hamstring development? One, if I'm a newer athlete, uh, specifically, okay, and maybe I don't have access to a lot of this stuff, you have access to a kettlebell. It's a entry level piece of equipment that can help give you uh, not only muscular endurance, but it can strengthen the hamstrings. I can't deny that. So if you're someone who is at a gym that doesn't have stuff uh, and you're looking to get into strongman training and you wanna strengthen those hamstrings, kettlebell swings, go for it. You can use that kettlebell for multiple uses, uh, but that's something that I think will benefit you. Now, when we're talking about specifically for strongman, I like using a kettlebell to strengthen uh, the hips, the hamstrings, and the explosiveness mimicking a throw, okay? So in strongman, we have throwing events, all right? So you guys are probably watching some footage of guys throwing things up and over. We had this at Nationals in 2019 where I took the national title for strongman. Uh, so we have to make sure that we know how to open our hips, how to use our hips, utilize the power that we can create from our hips. Uh, so by using the kettlebell swing, we can strengthen those hamstrings and everything in the pelvic girdle right there, all those muscles, and that's gonna help us become a better strongman athlete uh, and just be able to develop more force, more power, and launch things into space, and never, they'll never come back. All right, Matt's shoulders are on fire right now because this video is just, well, we, we filmed a bunch of videos, and uh, if you're wondering why Matt's shoulders just keep getting bigger and bigger whenever you see him on camera, it's because he's holding this camera. And by me talking like this, I'm actually gaining mass to Matt's shoulders. So you're welcome, Matt. But anyway, guys, that's the video. If you wanna grow your hamstrings, you guys better be putting those exercises into your training programs. And uh, if you're looking to just be a better strongman overall, these are our top favorite hamstring exercises. So check them out. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, head to zastrength.net. We got articles, programs, all that good stuff. And uh, we appreciate your support. Till then guys, stay the Lean Mean Strength Machine. Catch you next time. Peace.